Dear Mr. President, do we have your attention yet? Like we, the people, we black people, we, your nation, And I'm not talking about the, I'm not talking about the attention that you're paying with the tweets and I'm not talking about that. It's helicopters flying by us right now. The attention that, that could potentially evoke feeling and emotion, you know, sadness, anger, empathy even spark imagination like have you imagined what it would be like for your sons to be hunted down the way that being killed in broad daylight while the people taping felt powerless because all they could do is tape. You're giving us tweets and you're also giving us military threats. And yeah, I heard I heard the speech. I heard it. I I I, I heard the speech, the, the written speech, but it's different. It's different from when, when you actually feel something and you actually just speak uh, from your heart because, um, you know, when, <laughs> when you address the NFL players uh, for, for kneeling for this very reason, this very reason, um, those sons of bitches, as you called them, that came from the heart. So where's that energy? Where's that? I don't know. But the nation is not okay right now. And so I know you got a hard job. It's, it kind of part of the job description. But do we have your attention? Like what are you what are you about to do? What are you doing right now? I'm talking about past the military threat. What are you doing right now? Dear Mr. President, Jacob Blake. Yeah, I just wanted to um, just wanted to say something real quick, man. I, I posted something yesterday about the uh, the Jacob Blake incident uh, that happened. You know, seen the video, you know, read things all about it, and just uh, I posted it to raise awareness and and also just just to to share an outrage, man. This is happening too much. And even my caption said, is this, is this routine becoming familiar? The routine of posting about, um, <laughs> about unarmed, unarmed black folks being brutalized and then following up with the hashtag justice for fill in the blank. And then in the comment section, there everybody goes, well, what about what about, ah, Twitch, don't post that. Don't divide us like that. Don't push that narrative, Twitch. Like, yo, like I'm, I don't have to push the narrative. The narrative's already happening. And also for everybody that answered the post, asking me about, uh, well, what about the five-year-old that was killed by, by this person? 
yo, the, what happened to what happened to Cannon? That was awful. That was tragedy. That was tragedy. And justice is being carried out on the person that did that. If I'm not mistaken, the person that committed that atrocity is arrested and charged with first degree murder. We still yelling about justice for Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Arbery, George Floyd, Elijah McClain, shit, Sandra Bland, Trayvon Martin, Tamir Rice. Yo, I'm just, uh, Philando Castile. And countless others that are literally happening, it seems like, every other week. But y'all want to get in the comment section and be like, oh, well, what about this? Like, why is it like when we're raising awareness on, so on, on something that's happening against human rights, rather than just if you're going to leave a comment saying, you know, yo, that is messed up. Man, that's messed up. You got to go, yeah, but what about almost like you trivial, like trivializing it, like. It is almost it almost has this like this slight undertone, like you're a little tired of hearing this narrative. Oh, imagine that. Imagine that. Very saddening news. Stephen Twitch, the imagine. boss and the choreographer, DJ and co-host of Ellen DeGeneres show has tied in very mysterious ways. This is a man who was just by the way 40 years old. Boss died on Tuesday at a hotel according to the so many reports that are coming in from Los Angeles and according to the Los Angeles medical examiner. They have not actually come out to release the cause of his death. His wife has come out via Instagram uh, the lady known as Alison Hawker who came out to share a very heartening, heartbreaking and saddening statement from her. She said, um, according to the statement, she said via Instagram uh, that it's with the heaviest of hearts uh, that I have to share. My husband, Stephen, has left us. She continued and says, Stephen lit up every room he stepped into. He valued family, friends and community above all else and leading with love and light with everything to him he was the backbone of our family the best husband and the father and an inspiration to his parents to say he left a huge legacy would be an understatement and his positive impact will continue to be felt